What is up guys, Hunter here, and uh, today I just want to take you through a little tutorial, um, kind of how I do it. Um, I'm going to be ceramic coating all the plastic trim on my engine bay on my car, so I just want to kind of take you through that and uh, show you some tips and tricks and the steps that I do. So I am in the garage right now. Um, this is my 2015 Lexus GS 350 F Sport um, in the nice white. Uh, I can't remember that technical name, but um, pretty pretty stock. Um, but so here's my engine bay. Um, it's pretty clean actually already, but I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down all of the uh, just this plastic trim and stuff and uh, get it all ceramic coated. Do have some lights set up here to kind of help out with the process. And um, so I'm just kind of taking step by step. So what I'm going to do first is I just have an older towel that I use for um, tires or engine bays or whatever. Um, and I have um, some of my 32 ounce spray bottles here with um, some Chemical Guys nonsense in there. Um, what nonsense is is a uh, it's basically just a all-purpose cleaner with really no smell, um, hence the, t the name nonsense. Um, but I've found it to work pretty well just for cleaning interiors, really cleaning anything. So. Uh, I'm going to be using that to clean all the plastic. So all I'm going to do, take my product, give a couple of sprays on the towel, and then I'll go ahead and wipe down all the plastics. I may wait on the engine cover, um, just because it is still a little warm, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest because it's pretty cool. What you can also do is use like a boar's hair detailing brush of some sort um, to get in kind of the nooks and crannies of the cleaner if you need to, to really make sure everything's cleaned out well. Um, I'm probably gonna do that with some of these vents that are down right in the front. Um, towel's just kind of hard to get in there, so I'm probably gonna use one of those. It's just their little boar's hair detailing brush um, I like to use for like lug nuts on wheels. Um, I have a couple of them, so I'm just gonna use this one, and the one that I do use on the wheels just to kind of get into it. Um, so this should work pretty well. All right, so everything has been wiped down. Um, all looks pretty clean. Um, actually very good, in fact. Um, it's only gonna look better in a couple of minutes, but um, all that covering plastic has been wiped. If you wanted to, you could even go over it with like car pro eraser um, or some sort of uh, like oil remover, like paint prep, basically, um, to kind of remove any more oil out of the plastics. But um, honestly, I think this all-purpose cleaner will be just fine for uh, this application. Next is the uh, ceramic coating. So to coat this engine bay, I'm gonna be using some Gion trim. Um, I actually used it to coat the whole interior of my car, so and I'm gonna use some of it to uh, coat all the plastics. I'm also just gonna be using a microfiber applicator pad um, from uh, Adams, just one of their gray microfiber pads, um, applicator pads. They work pretty well, especially for like leather and stuff, and that way you can kind of shape to the contours of the plastic. Um, rather than trying to use the block with a suede applicator pad, it just, that's way too hard. So um, this is going to provide a better outcome um, and a smoother application. So for this application, just go ahead and remove your top. Um, and I'm just going to use a few drops on the pad itself um, to kind of prep it, prime it, get it ready to um, put on the plastic. Remember, always put your cap back on after you finish applying your product. And then we're going to move to the plastic. So I'm going to start by just beginning to work it into the panel. Mild pressure, not nothing too heavy, but enough to kind of work it in. I'm just working it all around into the plastic. Now I always recommend wearing a glove um, just because these are quote unquote glass particles. You really don't, I guess, want those in your hands, but um, just begin to work that in. I'm just going to let it sit for a few seconds. Um, really, I feel like the plastic's going to absorb some of it, so um, you could probably get away with, I don't know, depending on your conditions, maybe uh, 20 seconds or so uh, before you go buff back off with the towel. So now I know it's going to be really hard to tell because the lighting is not, not the best, but um, I have coated this whole piece right here. Um, it's been sitting for a good 20, almost 30 seconds. Um, and then I'm just going to use a fresh microfiber to uh, go ahead and buff off. I'm just lightly, not a lot of pressure, just a 
just a really light um, move across the surface. Just to kind of level the product. You're not trying to remove anything, but more just leveling. Um, just that way you don't have any high spots. Now, of course, this isn't quite as um, big of a deal on plastic as it would be on paint, but um, cause some of this is just gonna be absorbed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just time lapse um, me doing the rest of this plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and coat the rest of it, um, take it all off, and then uh, just kind of show you the finished product. got pretty much all of it coated so far. Um, I haven't done the engine cover yet, but um, pretty much everything else is. I went ahead and did a tape line to kind of do, show you a 50-50 split of uh, what it looks like before it was coated and after, which it's still really hard to tell because this lighting is terrible. It's probably the best angle I can give, but you can see the before coating, distinct line, and the after coating. Just a little deeper, a little shinier. You don't want your engine made to be super shiny. It's just a nice factory finish, which is gonna give you some UVA and UVB protection, even though most of the time the hood's gonna be closed. <laughs> also gives you good water beating properties. Um, if you happen to splash some water up in your engine bay, in your engine bay, um, it also is going to help keep dust from sticking to the surface. It makes it easier to clean down the road and uh, just overall keep it a better looking engine bay. So pretty much everything is coated now. Um, the only thing left to get are the little vents down in front. My uh, the little microfiber pad wasn't really getting in the, the nooks and crannies, so um, they do come with, at least with Gion products, they come with, with some of the suede applicator squares. Um, I'm just gonna put a few drops on that. Use my fingers to kind of get in the cracks um, and then let it sit. And then of course, just to um, kind of um, level the surface after I'm done and let it cure. And so there you have it. The entire engine bay is done. All of the plastics. Now I haven't done the cowl yet for the wipers. That will be down the road. But um, all the main big plastic pieces have been coated. Um, it looks fantastic. Thought it looked good before. It looks even better now. I went in and did that um, piece of the uh, coolant system piping. Um, just because it was a big piece. Um, all of this is coated. I didn't coat the battery. Um, just because this battery is not going to last that long. So maybe the next one. But... Um, did coat all this plastic on the side, all of this. I'd say it looks pretty good, especially these. These were kind of a pain, but I'm um, not they're done. They look really, really nice. So, just kind of step back, give you a full picture of the car, or of the, the engine bay. Um, looks pretty dang good. I'm very pleased. Now, of course, when coating something like this with any ceramic coating, almost with any kind of spray sealant, um, you want to let it sit for a little while to cure. Um, so for stuff like this, I think the directions call for at least 12 hours of sitting um, to really be able to bond to the surface and cure before you introduce, especially any water. I mean, you want to wait like a week before you introduce any water, um, but um, to really any elements at all. So um, I'm going to try to let this sit here all night long um, before I go to work in the morning um, just to, to let it really fully cure and I'll be curious to see what happens. And that's pretty much a wrap. Um, we have completely cleaned all the plastics. Again, we used an APC. I used Nonsense from Chemical Guys. Works really well. Um, and then we uh, coated it with Gion Trim. Um, just a really great coating for all kinds of plastics. Um, chrome, uh, anything like that. Rubber, of course. Um, I, like I said, I've coated my interior with it. Um, all of my uh, plastic trim. Uh, I used Gion Leather. Um, for my leather seats and the leather on my dash and doors and stuff like that. But um, all the other plastics I have coated with Gion Trim on the inside. It's been about six months since I've done so and I couldn't be happier with the performance of the coating. Um, water beads like crazy. Um, it Dust doesn't stick. Um, it's a negatively charged surface so it's not really attracting dust. It's kind of repelling it which is nice. Um, and so I'm really excited to see how this stands up to the engine bay. Of course it's going to be a lot hotter in the engine bay so I'm curious to see the performance of it with that added heat. Um, but uh, product, I mean, it turned out fantastic. Um, looks better than what it did when I got it from the dealer. Um, but uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. Um, I'm definitely gonna be putting out some more videos. Got a bunch of new products coming in, so uh, stay tuned for more. Um, like, comment, make sure and subscribe. And that way you get notifications every time I post. 
Um, feel free to check me out on Instagram at the underscore bearded hunter um, for some just cool pictures, funny Insta stories, stuff like that. So um, thank you guys for checking it out um, and I'll see you on the next one.